Hey guys, welcome back to the video. So today I'm just going to go over a quick build by of the new Star Wars Journey Tuba 2. Um, honestly, it's a lot of like kind of industrial metal uh, materials and some of them I do plan on using in like regular builds. Am I going to be using them all the time? No. Huge no. Um, they're kind of cool. There's a lot of like neutral colors, which is really nice but the overall style is not something I plan on using. One of the things that I saw really interesting was these two exact tables. They're like exact same, nothing different about them. One is a cantina sabak table and then a small cantina table and they're different costs. Now, maybe you can play a game on one of them and then the other you can't, I don't know, but they're literally the exact same table, exact same style and they cost different in the game. Um, the big old booth I definitely like. The metal bar stool is not so much. This couch is decent. Honestly with this pack you are getting a lot of items but those items aren't necessarily usable. So some of the clutter stuff is great. Really cute. Like what little Simsy mentioned it's great for Star Wars fans to have in their like room or to have like a Star Wars based room, that kind of stuff. Um, but for overall building, not so much. I'm going to try and make like basically a Star Wars only house later on, either next week um, or the following week, but it won't be too pretty. Um, this is a very specific like Star Wars-esque style. Um, I will say these planners are super adorable. I love these plants. Like, I think these are kind of like the highlight <laughs> of the build by besides the, um, what is it, the flooring. Um, the picnic table is also really cool along with a couple of statues, but I feel like for the most part it's going to be those clutter items. And then the round bar is just cool because it's a round bar. Um, but everything else is just super like Star Wars-y and just, it's just not it with overall build items. Just a handful of things here and there. Um, I'm just gonna say this here and I probably will make a quick separate video, but if you're a Star Wars fan and you really want to get the game and you really want to support the franchise, you know, go for it. If you're on the fence or if you are looking for a push one way or another, I'd probably say wait till this pack goes on sale or if you have a friend that plays too or someone you share an origin account and you can split the cost. like go for it but for those on the fence those that kind of play the sims just like any other sims no oculent no like you wouldn't be using this for any like samurai storylines or any like medieval storylines like i don't i don't see you getting much use out of this pack um just being honest so i mean power to you if you really want to get it and you really want to pay for it full price I only did because I wanted to see all the content and show you guys what all's in it and what my views are of it, but honestly, like, it's, I don't, from what I've seen so far with cast and build by, it's not worth the, the $20 um, or whatever it is in your currency, but I will say, I mean, it is a really cool pack and you can clearly see that, um, I think Disney ended up throwing them more money, which is why they were able to create so many different items and create like a stunning world, even though it's only basically a shell. Um, but yeah, my biggest gripe is those two chairs being the exact same, I mean tables being the exact same. But I hope you guys have a great evening or day, and thank you for watching my video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.